Morning. So this is like sweet potato and that's a pepper. This used to be like a pool and it's like sort of still down there. And there's like grass because they cut the grass, but there are sweet potatoes in there. And then we got a new fence and we cut back. There was lots of bushes and that's blackberry, but every year you're supposed to prune it back. So it's fine. This is fine. And then here's my first bed. This one has peppers. Um, you can see a whole bunch of them, but it kind of looks, I don't know. It looks like it's a little hot or something, but it has been super droopy. Here's another pepper. These are different. See those? They're supposed to turn red. So I've been leaving them. And then here's more of these. I think these are all Serrano's. There's more there. That's like three, four pepper plants. There's a bunch. I planted a bunch because they weren't growing and then they just took off. And this is basil. Um, it's like cardinal basil. Yeah, cardinal basil. And so is this. Oh, this is weird. I've never seen that turn a color. But I always pinch the flowers off so that it keeps growing and it just goes nuts and gets bigger and bigger. It smells so nice. And then this is Thai basil. This one smells super nice. And I just do this so you can smell it. <laughs> and then I have some sunflowers that my aunt's girlfriend gave me. Teddy bear sunflowers. They're going. Oh, and then there's a random tomato plant here that didn't want to grow. And look at this. One tomato. I hope it like goes fully. You can eat it. Oh, look, and there's a spider web. I don't know if you can see it. Pretty. yeah that's the first bed this right here I planted some sage or something but I never watered it so they didn't come up oh and here's some more basil this is a uh, holy basil Tulsi I made tea with this the other day and it is super good okay and then this bed back here I did have some squash in there and then I pulled it up because it got ruined and beans started to grow. I guess they fell because these were all green beans. And this is from like the spring and I just let it do whatever the heck it wanted. And it kind of grew back after it died. But it's like, I would not eat these green beans. Look at these leaves. No clue. It's because it's hot. I don't like the heat. So there was like a ton of green beans. You remember that. And then I had squash here, but there was a tomato and it's doing weird stuff. I just, I'm telling you, it's jungle. I'm letting it go. It's crazy. This was cucumbers. And look at our fence, how nice. But yeah, this bed is like experimental bed. Just throw stuff in there for now. It'll be cool in the fall. Here's my other bed. This is lemongrass and it's like doing super good. It's getting big. And then I have some more of those long peppers here. This one's turning red. And then this is basil. This is dwarf Greek basil. So cute, they're little. And then this is a tomato plant that I haven't taken care of. I pruned it way back the other day because it was a massive jungle, went crazy but I haven't got any tomatoes off of it. There's flowers though, so maybe, even though it's really late in the season, I'm just letting it do its thing. Here's some Thai basil. Always pulling the flowers off, so keep bushing out. That was super tiny when I first put it in there. It got pretty big. And then here's my bell peppers. They, they don't get very big, look. Like, this is as big as it gets. Um, they're all pretty small, but there's a few. They just, they don't get big. Or like, look, they, they'll come out like kind of rotten. And I'll just throw them down here instead because I'm not going to eat that. And those are some flowers that have been attracting all the butterflies. Like, it was covered in the, the caterpillars. And now we have a crap ton of monarch butterflies. It's awesome. 
this was the newest bed I made and it didn't do too well, I guess, because I didn't really properly fertilize it and get it started first. I just put plants in it. Um, tomato plant that isn't doing anything. Don't see any tomatoes. Some flowers. Basil is always a rock star in my garden, no matter what. There's more basil. Tomato. Here's the okra though. I need to cut that. This is like perfect ready to eat. If I don't come out and cut it, it will be massive like this afternoon. It's red burgundy okra. And more basil, doing great. I've been making lots of pesto. And then I have like all these random flowers in here and banana tree. I love this little section. I always come and cut flowers and make little bouquets and it keeps the flowers growing. And then this is Ethan's little garden bed. We planted tons of basil in here and wildflowers. And that is like that marble of something spinach or something like that. It's some kind of climbing spinach. It's pretty good. I tried it. It's kind of earthy tasting. It's better raw apparently. But yeah, this is like lemon basil. It smells so pretty. I just like do this so I can smell it. So nice. And that's an orange tree, lime tree, sorry, that died when it froze and now is growing back in like limbs. It's weird. Look at this. Like this was the tree and it just has all these little side shoots and grass. But yeah, I want to put this in the ground. I'm going to do that soon, even though I don't know how long we'll be here. It's been long enough. I'm putting it in the ground. And then this is just random, I don't know what, a few pots I threw stuff in. That's actually a flower, basil. There was a tomato plant in here, but we get a lot of morning glories, like wild, and they just kind of took over. And I just left it alone. Just do whatever. And then I have some little puny okra over here that I not once took care of or put any good soil. They're literally just buried in crap. <laughs> an experiment but yeah that's pretty much it got a lot of stuff I got to burn everything in the burn pile there in our little fire pit here's my little workstation that's going in the trash I gotta clean up out here just haven't been able to and it's fine and there's Stella being cute. Say hi, Maddie. Hi. She says hi. Good girl. <laughs> okay, go back to being a puppy. Ow.